Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and uh, this is my first tutorial on uh, Intro to Java, uh, Java the programming language. So, in order to get started, you're going to need two things. You're going to need um, what's called an IDE, Integrated uh, Development Environment, which is where you're going to basically, it basically runs a virtual machine where you could, you know, it shows your code, right? It runs it for you, it does everything for you, you don't have to worry about anything else. That's all you need to know as of now. So uh, the main one that I've used ever since I started has been Eclipse. That's the big one. Uh, so you're going to go www.eclipse.org and you're going to pick up uh, Eclipse uh, Standard. It used to be called Classic. Um, yeah, Eclipse Standard used to be called Classic. Just get that one, whether you're 32 or 64-bit. Um, I am 64-bit. Uh, I already have it, but you'd click this guy, and it would go ahead and start downloading. And then basically what's... Well, I guess I'll show you what happens anyways. So you're going to start downloading here in the bottom left-hand corner. And you're going to wait for that to finish. Now, the reason why I also, number one, like Eclipse, is it's completely free. Completely free program. And also it's a very smart program, but you'll see that in a second. Number two is that... Uh, you don't have to install it so there's no installation problems if you want to move it you can move it without doing anything it just basically you extract the files and then it works so I'm going to show you guys that in a second so basically what you're going to do in this case I have uh, WinRAW you're going to open it up and whatever and you're going to extract this just pull this folder or go into your download uh, your downloads folder find this and just pull it somewhere Pull it somewhere and uh, pull it somewhere in your fire system, and you'll find the eclipse.exe. And uh, you'll see that if I go to my, for example, my. Um, so here I have it on my one of my hard drives. Go under software, and here's the folder, and here is the application. And then you already have a shortcut in there. So basically, what you could do is you could just pull that shortcut and throw it on your desktop get rid of the shortcut part you know edit the name get rid of the shortcut part and then you'll have something that looks like this and here's my shortcut so that's my shortcut anyways so then you're gonna need your Java runtime environment JRE so just go here Java runtime environment hit accept license agreement and go down here for your Windows uh, 64 this one right here exe um, or you, for your 32-bit, you're going to want this guy right here. That's if you're 32-bit. But in my case, I'm 64-bit, so I get that. And it just comes up with a little box saying uh, you want to install. Install in the default location. Don't you move that location because that's where Eclipse is going to look. And then otherwise, you'd have to change where that looks, and it's just a big problem. So just... Uh, uh, let me see what would happen if I do it again. Probably not work so well, but yeah, you need this in order to run. If you try Eclipse, it'll let you know. So you come up with this here, and you go install. This software is already reinstalled. No. Okay, so now you're ready to go. So now let's uh, go ahead and configure Eclipse, and then uh, run uh, your first uh, program, your first test program, and make sure everything runs correctly. So basically, you're going to double-click your Eclipse, and it's going to ask you where you want your workspace. It's not going to say this. It's going to say um, into your documents, the uh, user documents, and then just you know say workspace, right? So you can do that by changing browse, hitting browse, and changing the folder where you want to put it, right? Which is here. You know, I have it on my media hard drive under programs, Java tutorials, and then I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to load the workbench. And then basically you're going to have a little intro screen. There's a little workbench logo up here in the corner. And that will take you to this screen here. And then you're not going to see anything here. So I'll go ahead and delete this guy. So this is what you're going to see after you click that workbench button up there in the corner. And it will jump to this here. So now, now you're ready to get started with Java. So here you're going to go to File, New, Java Project. Leave everything alone here and just call it test. So call it test there. Hit finish. 
and then you're going to see it over here in the package explorer what i would do is i would highly recommend that you kind of minimize this stuff so you can kind of get uh, this is where everything's going to come up so you kind of see a little better type thing and uh, so yeah so now you're going to go into src which means source click so you're going to click on the little arrow go into source go file new class we'll go over what this is and then just call it uh, call it a test uppercase and then click this box right here public static void main strings um, array arguments uh, click on that and then uh, everything should be fine just leave it how it is don't worry about that error and now you have this so this is uh, what uh, basically one of your classes looks inside of a pack inside of a package right so here's your default package inside source and here's your first class and you see it here over here in the package explorer and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of this and uh, bring this closer like so and you're gonna type in system with capital S system dot out dot print ln and then you're gonna say hello world and this is going to be your first program and then you're gonna do semicolon right so this is a solid period and this is that you're gonna use this a lot so it's a solid period with a comma underneath it so it's a semicolon right it's not a colon it's a semicolon and you that's ready to go and you see we have no red which you'll see later on so you're gonna hit run and it's going to say which one do you want to build and compile so you're going to have this guy you want to save it and every time you hit build it will save that file remember that it'll save it so so for example if i go well you'll see here in a second so if i hit okay it'll say down here hello world we are good to go have no problems down here everything went without a hitch so everything's installed correctly now if i go of course run again it'll just automatically run because it's already saved right because in Java you need to save the file before you run it. so uh, this is our intro to Java and this is our first uh, test um, project this is a hello world that everybody talks about doing um, you know where you where everybody starts their hello their first hello world project and we'll go over uh, quite a bit of stuff in here and uh, eventually do some other language as well like C C++ uh, C sharp um, stuff like that. All right, so uh, this is the first tutorial. I'll go ahead and uh, edit this and upload it, and we'll move on to the next tutorial. Uh, subscribe for uh, more videos and more tutorials in this series and other series, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.